G'day guys, welcome back. This is the one you've been waiting for. Look, I've made my crushed velvet silicone inserts. Woohoo, look. Oh, it was, it was much more difficult than I was expecting. Like, not difficult as in to make them because I've made them before, but difficult to make them to a standard where I would be happy to sell them. So yeah, a bit tricky. Because <laughs> you know, if you've tried it yourself, you'll know that it's not the easiest thing to do. Uh, you get bubbles, you get some areas that are thicker than others and thinner than others. And oh, it's, yeah, it takes a little bit of practice. I think I've made these a little bit on the thick side. It was tricky to do, but they, 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 they come to the top of my other uh, round mold. This is my deep one. I'll be, I need to make a new mold, so I'll be making that next week and I'll pop it up in my eBay store. But at the moment, I've only got the normal um, depth, six millimeter coaster mold in my eBay store. This one is double that. It's 1.2 centimeters or 12 millimeters deep. So I'm gonna try out for the first time my inserts in this particular mold. And then when I make the inserts again, I'll make them not quite so thick so that they fit into the other mold. If you don't have one of my molds, that's okay. You can still use these inserts um, I'm sure there's other molds around that are 12 centimeters or, or similar. Like even if they're a little bit bigger, you can just have a little border around them. So, you know, it won't matter. Don't stress too much if you don't have the particular mold I'm using. So there they go. They're in. Yay. Now, I thought I'd do, I love this color, this chameleon one. Um, this was the one that I made I think it was the first batch I made actually where I, I put the plastic on and I scrunched it. So that's the color I really like, the blue and purple one. And I've just recently done a clock in that one. So I'm going to do this one again in here. So it's the, I've written on the top there what it is. I remember because you can't tell because it's white. So it's called Interfere Who? With a question mark. And it's Chameleon Pigments. And it's by Glitter and Crafts For You. Dot com. So that's what I'm going to use today. When I did these, I think I put a little bit too much on. And you can see I didn't do all that well. I've got bubbles in there. I'm hoping, crossing fingers, that there aren't any bubbles in here. I can't tell until I've poured the resin on whether or not I've got bubbles and like how well it's going to actually turn out. So this is a test run. First time using these inserts. So we'll see how we go. And... Um, I'm not going to put quite as much in. It's quite difficult to see where you've been because it's a white powder on a white silicon mold. So it's a little bit difficult to see where I've been. So it's you can kind of see where it where you've gone. It sort of changes color. It's sort of gone like a a greenish tinge hopefully you can see that so I'm going to put a, a light sprinkle of this on I don't want it too thick I find I get a better result when it's not too thick and you can see a little bit of the black coming through these pigments have to be used on a black base okay that's what the manufacturer or the website says where I get them so I'll just do one and then I'll put you on time lapse, speed you up and I'll do the other ones. So I'm trying not to have too much wastage. Get it in the little crevices there because that's what you're going to see when it's turned upside down is in those little crevices will be the peaks. So it'll be opposite. The peaks that you see now will be the crevices and the crevices will be the peaks. So there we go. Get it around the side. Yeah, when I did these, I put too much on. So there we go. So that's the first one. I'm going to speed you up. I'm going to do the rest. I'm going to mix up my black resin 
um, because that's what goes on top next. So I'll be back when I've, um, I'll talk to you again anyway when I've got my black resin mixed up and ready to go. But enjoy the process. Right, oh, I have got some more resin. I finished dusting as you can see, and hopefully, I didn't put on too much. I'm learning as I go how to use this, so I've worked out that less is more. I've got one cup of resin, about 240 grams. So I thought 60 grams in each, six fours are 24, 240 grams, it's a cup. So I might not need it all. Uh, any black pigment paste you can use. This is the Batman Black from Art Tree Creations. I've been using a lot of black lately. I'm going to have to buy some more black. I'm just going to put that much in. As long as it's opaque, a nice opaque. It's going to just take me a minute to stir up, so bear with me. Now, I have been online to um, glitterandcraftsforyou.com um, oh, a week or so ago to buy some more colours. Of the chameleon and they haven't arrived yet but when they do we'll have a play and try out some more colors hey what do you think I did try some others out the other week but it was on my druzies um, and because I couldn't flip the insert over because it was on the druzy coaster I had to spray paint the black the back black so it didn't really work it wasn't ideal so I, I probably should try those colors again um, because I just put it down to the fact, oh, maybe it was the colours, but then I think it's probably because of my technique. So I will use those colours again, but I do have my two favourites, which is this purple blue, and then I've also got the um, the purple green, which is so pretty. I love them. Both my favourites. Oh, that could be a little bit more opaque, I think. I'll put a little bit more in. I'll just wipe this stick with some paper towel and then I can double dip. Okay, so you don't want to be dipping in when you've got resin on your stick. There we go, that should do. I thought about mixing it up like off camera but then you guys will go, well how much did she put in? A lot of you just like to see the whole process and if you don't that's fine, you can just fast forward if you already know how much resin to mix up and how much black to add then you know you can just fast forward I won't mind I won't know all right let's make sure this is all mixed in now as I said earlier the chameleon pigment powders have to be on a black base you can do this two ways you can either dust the insert like I've just done and then added black when it's set, peel the insert out, fill it up with clear. So you've got clear, pigment, and then black. Or you can do it the other way. You can pour clear straight into your inserts, and then just wait until it's set. Then flip it over, turn the uh, peel the insert out, um, and then you can dust directly onto the silicone, not the silicone, you can dust directly onto the clear resin that you've created and then put black on top. Just whatever you do, don't put clear on top of um, your pigment powders because the powders, some of them rise to the top and it's the clear side that's your top, your front. So you don't want to put clear on your pigments. You put black on the pigments, whether you do it first or last, doesn't matter, as long as you put black on the pigments. Right, here we go. Pour some in. So it doesn't need to be ultra, ultra thick. 
but it needs to just cover. This one seems a little bit high on this side, the actual insert. I might have put a little bit too much silicone in that or maybe it wasn't level. When I make them again, I'm not going to make them quite as thick so that they should fit into my other mould. They might not. Maybe it'll be better in this mould. I, I don't know. We shall see. Inserts, I think, are always better in sli a slightly thicker or deeper mould, aren't they? Because they do take up a bit of room. I mean, we're going to be peeling this out um, and then turn it upside down and then there'll be room again on the other side to fill it up with more resin. But at the moment, you have to have enough room to add your black. All right, that one's done. I'm just, I'm trying not to touch the insert, oops, I touched the insert then. I'm trying not to touch the insert because I don't want to dislodge the pigment powder, but I do need it to just go to the edges. I mean, yes, I could put more in and it would definitely flow to the edges, but I'm trying not to make them too thick, seeing how they go. If you've got a little piece of the insert that's poking through, then oh, like that there, then obviously you need to add a little bit more resin so that everything's covered. But because it's got all these little nooks and crannies, the resin doesn't flow over it quite as easily as it would in just a flat mold. And you can see, see, see how the, um, the pigments are kind of floating to the top? I mean, I tried not to put too much on, but um, they're still kind of floating to the top there. All right, so that's just cleaning off my stick. And use them again. All right, so this one, you can see there's a little bit of insert sticking out there. I might not have put, well, I, I didn't put as much resin in this one, obviously, as that one. So I put a little bit more in. Same with this one, it needs a bit more until they're covered. Made up just enough, didn't I? Look, there, ooh, there's a little bit left. Tiny bit left, but yeah, I'd rather have a bit more than not enough and then you have to stop and make more resin. That's just a pain, isn't it? A little bit more in just to make sure they're all covered. All those little peaks are covered. But you can see how the pigment rises to the top there. And if that was your clear, which was going to be your top, you don't want to spoil your clear top with spots of mica powder. So always put your black directly on the mica powder. So I might do another one. Well, I will. I'll do another one testing these and we'll do it the opposite way. I did that. Um, I don't know whether which video is coming up first. I did that with my clock. But I'm waiting for the numbers, so this video might actually come up before that one. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, it will come up. Um, but yeah, I did that the opposite way to this. Right, you can see all the bubbles there. I'm just going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to spritz with the alcohol. That's 100% isopropyl. Isopropanol. There we go. Got rid of a lot of bubbles, didn't it? So we'll just wait now. Um, I'll give it a few minutes for some more bubbles to come to the surface. Uh, make sure that every little bit of the insert is covered, which I think it is. This one doesn't seem to have quite as much black in it. Uh, oh, it'll be alright. I'll just fill them up on the other side with clear. It won't matter. I was just trying to use up all my black. Actually, I'll put a little bit more in. This one doesn't have as much. I'm looking across the top to see which ones are fuller than the others. It won't matter. I'm just using it up for the sake of it. I'll just stop. Like I said, I can fill it up later with, um, with clear. All right, one more little spritz and then I'm going to leave it to set overnight. And uh, I'll come back tomorrow. So in the morning, once these are set, um, I'll be able to take them out, peel that insert off, put them back in, 
with the crushed velvet side on the top pour clear on the top of that and then when they are done we will have our gorgeous coasters cross fingers that it works right wish me luck if it works i'll put them up for sale in my ebay store so cross your fingers for me i'll see you in the morning hey guys uh it's later on the same day um it's just after 10 p.m. and I was getting ready to go to bed and I thought, I wonder if I can flip these over and do the clear coat so that I can actually unmold them in the morning. Otherwise, it's going to be another day and I've got nothing to put up tomorrow video-wise. So they're still a bit bendy. But let's we'll try one, okay? And if it's no good... Um, I'll put it back and I'll wait for tomorrow, but I don't want to wait. All right, so that's the top. Well, actually, that's the back. So let's have a little look, see if we can get this out. Oh, look, you guys. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Wow, came out nice and clean. So the only thing is this little thin bit of resin that's, you know, gone down the sides there, which is not a problem. Um, I'll just have to trim that off real quick. Mm, yeah, I could possibly tear it, but I'll just actually, I'll just, um, 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 let me get my little tweezer thingies. What are they called? Little... Cuticle cutters. Cuticle cutters. Actually, I better not leave it there because it's going to bend. Um, I'll just do one real quick. Put it over here. That way it'll catch all the, the bits. And I'll just slice that off. Like that. It's the only thing with using an insert is you know the resin it's very thin and it just works its way down the sides but as you can see it's not difficult to get off it's just going to take a couple of minutes i guess you could just no i couldn't really break it if it was hard you could probably break it because but because it's still bendy it just wants to bend so it needs to be just clipped off like this the little cuticle clippers like this are fine um what about scissors you could possibly use scissors oops probably faster yep <laughs> that's faster yeah that works faster so um, you don't need to worry about sanding it because we're going to put it back in the mold and uh, we're going to pour clear over the top. So any sort of edges there that could possibly need sanding are going to be filled up with the clear. Look at that, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. I just have to get these little bits of resin out of there that are kind of stuck to the sides, little loose flaky bits. Again, it won't matter too much. Uh, let's get a little bit of a, a baby wipe and see if we can get them out with that. Um, otherwise, um, your tape, because they're just kind of breaking up. So maybe a little bit of tape. We'll just get that back out. Although it's wet now because I've just used my baby wipe. All right, I'll leave that for a minute. Um, but it is coming out, see? But um, yeah, I'll, I should have just waited, not wet it with the baby wipe because it doesn't want to come out now that it's wet. So I'll let it dry and I'll get that out. I'm just going to get the others out. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked. Let's have a look. Let's have a close look can't see any bubbles that was the main thing I was worried about for you guys because I didn't want to send them to you if they had bubbles in them that one is brilliant it's bubble free um, 
I need to be able to put it back in because I don't want to put it down. Let me see. It's going to be a late night, isn't it? <laughs> Here am I planning on having an early night going to bed. And then um, I started, started this. All right, I've done that. Let's put it back in. Because as I said, it's bendy. So I want to get it back in on a nice flat surface. Push it down. And you can see it sits quite low in there. So you don't have to fill the whole thing up. I don't want to fill the whole thing up. All right, so that's one done. Uh, I'm, I won't, won't do them all in front of you. It'll take too long. But as you see, they come out nice and easily. Let's grab a piece. I just don't want any falling into my mold. Comes off nice and easy. I think the best way to to get, I mean, you could pick those little bits off, but you could probably just soak it in some warm water and they'd probably come off, those little bits there. It's probably the best way to get them clean. All right, let's do this one real quick. Snap, snap, snap. Probably smaller scissors might work better. Well, this one's doing a good job. But, um, yeah, smaller, sharper scissors. They're just easier to use than the um, cuticle scissors because they're a bit small. I'm just trimming off just a little bit of excess that's gone down the side of the mould. How's this one looking? Don't see any bubbles. I think it's perfect as well. I mean, if you do find a bubble, I'll apologise in advance because you know they're they're homemade. They're not um, factory manufactured. They're handmade, so they are going to maybe not be as perfect as a factory made. But that's that's all the part of it, isn't it? That's the magic of these. They are handmade. They're all individuals. All right, so that's clean. See, that works much better <laughs> when you don't wet it. All right, so that one can go back in now. I'm glad I'm doing this tonight. Then I can unmold in the morning and I'll be able to put a video up for you. So exciting. Push it down. Push it down and push it down. Righto. Right, I'm going to go and do the other two. You don't need to watch me doing them. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, don't they look so pretty through the screen? Oh, I'm so happy. All done, you guys. Now I'm just going to quickly unplug this ring light just to see if it's any different. Have a look at the colours. Sometimes they're a bit glary with the ring light. Sometimes you can actually like see the colours a bit better. And this is it back on. Um, it's a bit hard for me to see through the screen, but will you guys let me know what you think, if it's better with the light, without the light? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking it's better without the ring light on. You can see a little bit better. It's not so glary. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'll leave it on. <laughs> leave it on for now. You've seen it with and without. Now, I've got my resin. I made up 200 grams and I'm using the Delcom Crystal Clear because I don't want any amine blush on the top. So this doesn't do the amine blush which is lovely. I have tonight actually spoken to the people at DIY Composite about their Platinum Super Clear and Ultra Clear, how it does the amine blush and they said to try their Food Safe 360 plus or their food safe ultra clear so I had a look at both in their eBay store and I've actually ordered some tonight of the food safe ultra clear so we'll see how that goes it is a little bit more expensive than the regular ultra clear but 
if it doesn't give me the a mean blush then I'm happy to pay a little bit extra for it because the Delcom is more expensive I'll have to actually look into it and see how much more it is which one is still cost effective I do like the Delcom because it's I, I use it for different things so I have different resins for different uses but anyway we'll see how it how it goes I've ordered it it usually only takes a few days to arrive so I'll, I'll use it for a top coat and um, we'll see if we get the Amin blush or not and I'll let you know because that would be exciting if I can get another resin that behaves well and doesn't belong in the naughty corner I'm just pushing this up to the sides so probably the clear will go down the edges again like the black did but because it's clear it's not going to make any difference it'll be just fine now it's up to you how much you want to put in for your top coat remembering that this is the deeper mold um, I am make, making the inserts thinner I've made some more today and I made them thinner so we'll see how that goes for the thinner mold or the, the shallower mold I should say so I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna fill it up to the top because they don't need to be that full um, and I've still got some left but I will make a note um, on how much I'm using um, and I'll put it when I list them I'll put them in the eBay store in the description like how much to do for the first layer how much to do for the second layer etc etc so that you guys can follow along um, you know you can obviously watch to see how to use them um, and then I'll also give you that information on how much to use on each layer and I think that'll be helpful won't it now let me just make sure we've got equal amounts in all of them this one could have a little bit more it's so funny I look across I stand back and I look across the top and they are purple and then I come back here and I look at the cross the top and they are blue oh I'll just love it love it love it love it love it to pieces all right I'm not going to fill them up too much don't want them too thick so I've got a little bit left I'll weigh that and see how much I've got left um, let's give it a bit of a, a torch the Delcom is a slightly thicker resin so the bubbles don't come up as easily but they will still come up that's for sure and you just got to make sure that you don't get any bubbles where the resins you know gone down the sides there because it goes down and the bubbles want to come up so you just have to come back and check it in a few minutes don't they look totally different once you put the clear on it's given it a real sparkle now that I've put the clear on it's just amazing do you want to come down and have a little peek have a little closer look there's a speck of dust there all right hang on stay there I'll come and get you <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's get these gloves off. Oh, I'm so happy that they've worked out, you guys. Happy for you. Because I know you're all wanting these. Let's just turn this off. I don't know. Does that make any difference? I don't know. Let's go down and have a look. I'll come around and have a look, and then I'll turn the ring light on and see if it's any better or worse. I decided to put the ring light back on. All right, so looking at them this way, they're purple, and then we go up over the top, and lookies, they're blue. Isn't that amazing? And it's all sparkly. You can see a little bit of gold in there, and then this way again, they're purple, and then this way, they're blue. What about this way? purple blue <laughs> love it oh, I'm so happy with them all right oh there's a bubble look at that you're huge see the resin's gone down the side there just get that bubble in there as well so you gotta just come back and you know double check triple check that there's no bubbles 
that have come up. All right, let's go down. Oops, I know that ring light's a pain. So you can see the gold there, you can see the blue, you can see the purple. I'm just trying to get a close up to see if there's any, any bubbles, not surface bubbles, but bubbles in my mold. I tried very hard not to get any and I did manage to get a few bubbles but then I had to fix them, which I did. I don't see any. I don't see any bubbles at all, you guys. If you have a look at oh, this one, I'll get one. This is my previous one, the first one that I did. See the bubbles? I managed to get bubbles in that one because they were stuck underneath the plastic wrap. But um, yeah, I did much better with these ones. There's, no bubbles so there we go very very similar hey very similar um, all right I'll leave it at that I'll come back in the morning I'm gonna get up nice and early so we can demold let's just check them without the ring lights if it's any better all right that's without the ring light not so glary when I mean, it's you know it's late it's um oh. It's 20 to 11. I should be in bed. My dogs wake up early. So, I mean, it's a bit glary because I've got my spotlight on and it's dark in the studio. And But you can see there, they're so pretty. So pretty. Love them. All right, I better go. Otherwise, I'll be here looking at them all night like a mum with a new baby. I feel like that. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you love them. I'll see you in the morning. I'm back. It's the next day. It's nice and early. They've set. Oh my gosh. So excited. I know I say I'm so excited, but I am. Right. Let's get them out. You know how I said I have to come back and pop the bubbles because they, um, because they come up through the sides. I, I forgot to come back. Well, you know, it was late. It was like almost 11 o'clock. I didn't come back. I went to bed. And then I couldn't sleep because I was thinking about these, hoping that they'd work. Should we get one out? Let's have a look at the side first. Okay, that's turned out really nicely. You can see, you can see the two layers there. How am I going to focus this for you? You can see the two layers there. And we have a beautiful smooth top, no amine bloom or blush because I used the the delcom. Right, let's look at these. Hey, oh, there's a light in the way. It's always a light in the way. Okay, so this way. Oh, let me see if I can turn that overhead one off. There's one light in the middle of the room, which was that one, and then there's four in each. You know, one in each corner. All right, let's see if we can pick this up. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult. All right, so there's the, the kind of bluish tone. And then there's the, which way do we look? Purplish tone that way. I don't know whether it's easier just to pick them up and move them or whether you just look across the top. But anyway, there's the first one. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. There's no bubbles, is there? No. I did well. There's no bubbles in it. Yay. Now that was one little bubble there that popped up on the side, which I'll just sand that off. And um, I don't know. I think, I don't know if I should paint them silver along the edges. See, the last batch I did, I did gold. But I'm, I'm kind of thinking, I wonder what silver would look like. So pretty. And again, do we have any bubbles? Look how sparkly it is. It's just it's just amazing. It really does look like crushed velvet or satin, doesn't it? It's so pretty. It's funny because when I put up um, photos initially of these, people said, how can you put a cup on? You know, because they thought that it was all rippled, but it's not. It's smooth, but it certainly does look as if it's textured, hey? 
Now it's going, how do you put a cup on it? It's all wobbly. <laughs> it's deceptive. It's so, they just, oh, I can't believe it. So happy with these. All right, I'm, I'm going to list them in my eBay store today. You can see the little pigment powders that have risen to the top there on the other side. Looks like a little nebula happening, doesn't it? So when you're using the coasters, it's a good idea to put those little, you know, silicone feet on, on the back, or maybe you want to glue some felt on there. I just use the little silicone bumpers though. There you go, you can see the pink or the purple, and then the more blue and black that way. The last one, and as you can see, they come out really easily, just pop straight out. Love it, and I think I will. I will do the sides just because you know you can see the the two different colours there. But um, I'll need to just I will need to wait a little bit until these um, are soft enough to sand, because the delcom takes a lot longer to set up. And I mean, I only did it. Well, what's the time now? It's seven a.m. So it hasn't had very long. What eight hours or something? So they're not set up enough to sand yet, so. But I do want to paint them. I want to paint them. Maybe I can. All right, I'll try. I'll see how it goes. See you in a minute. Right, I've got my pen. I haven't sanded or anything. It's too soft, but there's really no lip there. It's, it's pretty good. So I'm going to use the Deco Color Premium, which I really love. It's got a nice thick tip on it, so it gets good coverage. Let's do this one. Now try not to touch the top because, like I said, it's not set yet. Um, it's always tricky, isn't it? Because I can't I need to focus. Here, focus. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. move those other things out of the way so hopefully we can focus otherwise it doesn't know what to focus on all right hopefully this will work here we go silver I mean, if you particularly wanted to you could sand the edge because you can kind of see where the two um, you know the black and then the clear joined so if you I guess if you're selling them, you may want to just give the side a quick sand. Oh, come on, focus. You can't do this if you keep changing your focus. It goes on really fast. I am going to have to hold the... Actually, maybe I can put my thumb underneath like that so I don't touch the side. Uh, no, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> I just don't want to get silver paint on my hand and then I touch the top of the coaster with it. Because if you get any silver on the top, you won't be able to get it off because the resin is not set enough to be going and, you know, cleaning it off. I'll just do this one and then I'll I'll do the top rim which brings everything to life so you can see how thick it is it's it's a little bit thicker than what my coasters normally are but because I've used that thicker or deeper round mold now if you wanted to do two coats you could you just have to wait till this one's dry all right now with the the nib there depending on how thick you want your top edge you put your nib sort of on the very edge there like that but I only want it thin so I'm going to put a little bit of a, a tip there and just follow that all the way it's pretty easy because it gives you that little rim just to follow it 
it's a bit thicker on this side. I'm going to have to go over and do the other side just a little bit more. Just putting the very tip. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. Gone crooked. It's difficult to try and do it while I'm watching through the screen. I should sit down and pay attention. But yeah, the little rim there still a little bit soft and bendy. Whoops. Let's make this one a little bit thicker. It's much easier when the resin's set hard and your pen has hard rim to follow. Whoops. <laughs> oh my gosh, whoopsies. I'm too impatient, aren't I? I should just wait. Can't wait. I'd have to wait another day. Well, maybe not another day, but there we go. All right, it's done. Look at that. Wow. Love it, love it, love it. Do you love it? What do you think? I like it with the silver. I'll grab the gold one, see what you think with the gold one. That was the first one I did with the gold. Also really pretty. This one's more blue, I think. This one, the one on the right, the older one's more, more blue. I don't know whether I've put more pigment powder on this one or less because you can see more black coming through. I think if you put less pigment on, you see more of the black coming through. Anyway, there they are. Right, I'm going to go finish my coffee. I'm going to paint the rest and um, edit the video to put up for you. So thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, yep, yeah, these will be in my eBay store real soon so that you can um, grab yourself a set of four. All right, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye for now.